Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you um, how to break hashed passwords using a tool called Hashcat. Um, now, before we start this tutorial, um, this isn't to be used for any illegal um, actions or motives. This is only to be used if you're recovering one of your own hashed passwords um, or if you're just experimenting or you want to learn about it. I don't condone or encourage um, or support the use of this for any illegal activities or anything like that. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the program that you can use to break these hashes. Now the name of this program is called Hashcat. I'm not Hashcar, Hashcat. Um, so basically what a hash is, um, is it uses an algorithm basically to scramble a password into a random string of numbers and letters. Um, so the password is no longer in clear text, rather it is encrypted in this method so that if someone managed to get hold of that password they don't have the password they would have to try and crack um, that hash. Now to determine what that hash is there's a specific algorithm that's used um, it's different depending on what that hash is encrypted with some of the common ones are listed here such as MD5 um, various SHA algorithms as well as a bunch of others um, and this algorithm is going to determine how that password is hashed and we can determine what that um, algorithm is and then use that to crack that hash using Hashcat. Um, so you're going to need to download Hashcat from the official Hashcat website and um, you can download it here, um, binaries, all the sources. Okay so once we've downloaded that um, and we've extracted it out of the raw file that it downloaded in, um, we've got the Hashcat folder here and we see a whole bunch of files. We've got a few example hash files as well as an example dictionary file. Um, now, as I said before, I'm going to be showing you a brute force attack example today. Um, so to set this up, you actually need to use a batch file. So if you're familiar with batch files, that should come in handy here. So we're just going to open up a notepad, um, and here we have it here. So in this notepad, we're going to spe need to specify a few options. So first, we're going to tell um, it's which version of Hashcat we're going to use, because there's two. There's for 32-bit, and there's for 64-bit. So we're going to type in Hashcat 64.exe. Um, then we're going to do dash A for attack mode, and we're going to hit attack mode 3, uh, which is brute force. And we're going to specify um, which hash file we're going to um, crack. Um, we're going to use example 0 hash file over here. So we're going to specify that, example 0 dot hash. Um, and now we're going to specify what kind of letters we're going to use when trying to crack passwords in this hash file. Now, for lowercase letters, um, you would do... Um, question mark and then L and that means lowercase and you're going to need to do a question mark and an L for every digit or every letter sorry of the password so most passwords are eight character passwords by default so we're going to try that so we're going to put um, question mark L in eight times five six seven eight there we go um, so we've got that now we're going to hit save um, we're going to just call this brute force bf dot uh, bat and we're gonna do that and then we're gonna save this in our directory of the actual hashcat program so we're gonna open up the folder wherever that may be for you and we're gonna hit save and as we can see that's appeared here now we're going to run this it's gonna start up for a bit um, it's going to give you some information about your GPU, etc. As we can see, it has started cracking these hashed passwords. Um, so these, this is cracking all of the eight-letter hashed passwords um, from that hash file. So this hash file, example hash file, actually has a whole bunch of different kinds of passwords. And as I'm going to show you now, you can incorporate digits and numbers into it to crack those kind of passwords. So that's just how to crack your basic um, eight-digit, eight-character, sorry, lowercase passwords. So now we're going to hit Q and quit that. Um, and it will actually give you a bit of a stat at the end telling you how much um, it landed up cracking. Um, what percentage of that file. So now, if we want to change it so that we have digits on the end, say for example, your password was something, whatever, and then the last two digits would be the year of your birth, which a lot of people's passwords are. So six digits and then two digits, six letters, sorry, and two digits on the end. We're going to replace that lowercase l with a lowercase d. Then we're going to save that, and we're going to run that file again. Then it's going to run again. And as we can see, it's now hashing, cracking these hash passwords. But we're cracking all of the passwords that have the two digits um, on the end of the password. Um, it's giving me some messages here about um, 
not using my GPU um, as well as it could. There are some things that you need to set up in order for it to take advantage of the GPU that you're using. I haven't done that. Um, I might cover that in a later video. As you can see, it just closed, which means that it's actually tracked all of the passwords in that hash file that ended with two digits. So if we go like this and click edit again, let's try one with four digits on the end. Um, and let's try that. Hit save, and then we're going to run it. And there we go, we're getting a bunch more passwords now, and it's finished. So that's, as you can see, that's just cracked a whole bunch of passwords that had um, four letters, then four digits, which a lot of people's passwords these days actually are. Um, and you can basically just keep going with this, keep um, editing this, changing this to try different things. Um, basically, to try and eliminate all the different possibilities of what the password could be. We can also try just all digits. I don't know how many of them there are going to be. Um, there were some and it finished them straight away and forced closed. Um, so that's about it for today guys. That's how you can use Hashcat to brute force um, hash passwords. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.